Yeah, I do this for Gandhiji is the most recognized face in the history of mankind. And there is a story behind how he became so well known all over the world. It started off, the statue shows the salt mark. It was his salt mass which he started on the 12th of March 1930 that made him famous all over the world. Even after his great work in South Africa and in India, he was not so well known. But when British Raj put the salt X. He saw that as the most available opportunity. When he started the march, distance of 241 miles, led by 17 disciples, but followed by thousands and thousands of Indian people that he became known as the general of the non-violent army. That and when he started the procession, overseas journalists all over the world, they came to see the slow progress of his train caravan. It was so slow because he was everybody was walking on foot and imagine on the hot dirt so his followers started to be green leaf in front of him so that we could walk on the day. of April, he went for his ritual bath in the sea, but it was more than a ritual. And that's when he put his hand and put his fist right, and then he opened it slightly and showed the salt crystal. That's when the whole world saw that a naked man with a small bamboo stick in his hand and with a tight fist he showed to the whole world the symbolism of Indian strength. I want to remind you, Donald 
Donald Trump, he copied Gandhi ji when he was shot and he put his hand right up and but he said fight. But remember that fist can be that strong. And that sword march ended in what came known as Gandhi Urban Pact. And part of that pact was that all political prisoners were to be released. I want to share a little story here. A guy by the name of Gur Charan Singh was in Lahore jail about to be hanged. And they asked him, what do you want to do as the last act? He said, give me 15 minutes to pray. 15 minutes to pray. So they gave him 15 minutes. While he was finishing his prayers, the jail clerk came running. Congratulations, Mubarak, Mubarak. And this Guru Tarun Singh, he says, listen, they are going to be hang me and you want to congratulate me. And then he came closer. Then he said, we have got the orders to release all the political prisoners so you can go home. This was the power of the prayer. If he had not prayed, who knows? So, Gandhiji left us a big message. And I want to share this book. My, I'm honored to call him my friend. Professor Ken Mananda. This book published in 2024, most recent publication, and story of installation of God. This statue is written in this book over four pages. So that's why I want to show you this book. And the author, he used to live in Canberra. That's when I met him, and uh, now he's living in Melbourne. And I'm glad to see that he is acknowledged in this book. He is acknowledged by friendship with him. But this statue has been similar statues are all over Australia, excepting the one in Melbourne which got damaged and never reinstalled. So you can, we can be thankful for the design by Ram Sutar Ji giving us such a statue that 25 years later it was installed in the year 2000. So 24 years later, by grace of God, it's still a safe and a guiding lighthouse for the whole world. Having said that, that was the past. And as my good friend, I'm honored to call him his good friend, Professor Finn Malanda, he mentioned we will we are trying our best to continue the great legacy that Gandhiji has left for us. So I'll finish by reminding you Bapu ki Amar Kahani. Yaad rahe Bapu ki Kahani. Bhool na usko jaye hum. Bapu ne jo diya jalaya, uski jyot jalaye. Namaskar. Thank you, Agarwal Ji.
for your insightful reflections. Uh, now I would like to invite our